Let's understand how to solve a given vector equation. Now this will be a step which we will normally need when we do linear combination and spanning of vectors. Solve for a, b and c in the following equation. This is a vector equation. It says 2 times a 3c plus 3 times c 7c equals 2 5 b plus c 15. Now I will show you how to do it using uh, another notation of vectors and that will be the column matrix form. Now I prefer column matrix because it gives a very visual and you know easy way of approaching the same thing. So let me show you that. So this vector at present is written in the set Cartesian form. So we will write this as two times and instead of writing in a row form kind of we will write in column matrix that means it can be written as A3C so this is exactly the same vector the only thing is that the notation is different so so this is a nice notation to use in such algebraic solution of vectors you will soon appreciate it so we could have translated this equation like this in the column matrix form so it's an idea to introduce column matrix form to some of the students who haven't seen it before. Now what we really do is these direction numbers are written in a column form with this matrix kind of a notation on the sides. Now we will do the algebraic operations on this. So this basically is a scalar multiplication, right? So we can multiply each component and add them up. So when we add, what do we get? So we get from here 2a plus 3c. So we can write this as 2a plus 3c. Then 2 times 3 is 6 and 3 times 7 is 21. So I'll write here 6 plus 21. Now 2c plus 3 times c plus 3 times c. So that is what we get after doing scalar multiplication of vectors. Now on the right side we have 5b plus c 15. Now if the two vectors are exactly same in that case their direction numbers should be same right. So that gives us three different equations. So we'll have three equations and we need to find three variables so that should not be difficult. So it is 2a plus 3c is equal to 5. That becomes our first equation. 2a plus 3c equals to 5. And the second equation is 6 plus 21, which is 27, right? 27 is equal to b plus c. So let me write variables on this side. So we get b plus c equals to 27. The third one is 2c plus 3c, which is 5c is 15. So we have 5c equals to 15. So these are the three equations to work with. So let me number them as 1, 2 and 3, right? So these are my three equations and we need to find what a, b, c, the three unknown quantities are. So we can use equation number 3 and find what c is. So from 3 we get c equals to 15 divided by 5 which is equals to 3. Now we know what C is. To find B, we can plug in the value of 3 in C and find B. So we get B plus 3 equals to 27 or B is equal to 27 minus 3, that is 24. Now to get A also, we can substitute the value of C in the equation 1 and get our answer. So we have 2A plus 3 times 3 equals to 5. So 2a equals to 5 minus 9. And a is equals to minus of 4 divided by 2. And this gives us minus 2 as our answer. Right? So thereby we can solve for the three unknowns and write down our answer. Right? So our answer here is so we can write down answer here is 
a is equals to minus 2, b is equals to 24, and c is equals to 3. Now it is important for me to show you this method since I am going to apply this in a couple of my questions. When we do linear combination, this is kind of linear combination of two vectors which result into the third vector. Now, so, so we will do combination as shown here rather than writing them horizontally. So when, if we write them all horizontally, it becomes very difficult to combine the terms and sometimes you can get mixed up. So I'll appreciate if you can pick up this method and also check with your teacher if this method is good enough or approved by your teachers. That will be a good idea. I hope that helps you a lot. Thank you.